Thank you, Your Honor. And in this text message on October 4th, 2014, you text someone, it's, it's unclear who, uh, you say, I'm going to quite gracefully glide into a massage of my broken back and neck. I shall exit in one hour a monster. Shall we each swallow an E each, parentheses, or perhaps it's MDMA, at around 8 p.m. and go to dinner with a few of my wee team at a wonderful Peruvian spot. Let us enjoy this night, my brother. Let us reward ourselves for the hard work and misery of the heat that we push ourselves to conquer every goddamn day, the shatter. Did I read that right? You did. You did. And, and E here, that's a reference to ecstasy, correct? It is. You can take that down, Michelle, please. You would agree that you found drugs and alcohol at an early stage in your life, right? I've, I've certainly, yes, I did. And, and you testified uh, a couple of days ago that you had done just about every kind of drug there was by age 13 or 14, right? 15. 15. And you've, um, you found that drugs are the only way to numb your pain, right? They have always been um, a medicine for me, yes, a numbing agent. And you said yesterday that, in fact, I, I think you said you take drugs to numb the demons, right? I don't know that I said to numb the demons, but I, I well, if I did say demons, it's, it is to numb the residual um, pain that I carry from my uh, youth. Right. And... Um, one, of, one of your good friends that you've taken drugs with before is Marilyn Manson, right? Um, yes, we've taken, uh, 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 we've drank together. Uh, we, we've, uh, we, we've had cocaine together maybe a couple of times. Um, pills, right? With Marilyn Manson? Um, I once gave uh, Marilyn Manson a pill uh, so that he would s stop talking so much. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right. Um, I get it. You employ, you employ a, a lot of people that work for you, right? I employ a lot of people that You work employ for a lot of people that serve various roles in your life, right? Yes, there's, there, there, yes. And, and, and at least some of those people will do anything you ask, including some of them supplying controlled drugs to you, correct? I would not characterize those people as doing anything I want or anything I said. They're not the yes men that you'd like them to be. Can you turn, uh, pick up your, uh, your testimony from the UK trial and turn to page uh, 48, which is page 13 of the document, please? Yes, sir. I've got it. You got it? Okay. Yes, sir. And if you could please take a look at um, page 48, line 15. Page 48, line 15. And you just testified that they're not yes men, right? That was the testimony you just gave, correct? Uh, yes. Okay. On page 48, line 15 um, uh, of your testimony in the UK, you were asked a question, they are people who will do what you ask. They will do anything you ask, including some of them supplying drugs to you, controlled drugs to you. Your answer was, there are people who work for me, work with me, who, yes, in the past,
have been asked to provide whatever I have felt was necessary at the time. Question. Well, putting it bluntly, if you wanted illegal drugs, controlled drugs, and you asked one of your staff, and I am not going to name anybody particularly right now, that member of staff would provide you with those drugs if he could. Answer. At times, yes. Question. Despite the fact that it was illegal? Answer. Yes. Did I read that right? You did. Can we pull up uh, exhibit 1085, please? You've seen this picture before, Mr. Depp, right? Uh, yes, I have. Yes. Um, and this is a picture that was taken in uh, Ms. Hurd's um, former house or apartment on Orange Avenue after you two began dating, correct? Yes, sir, and it's, a, it's quite a composition. It, the composition of the photograph is very interesting. I, I, I think that's something we can agree on. Um, Your Honor, move for admission of Exhibit 1085 and ask for permission. No objection, Your Honor. All right, 1085, published in Evans. This picture, um, you recall, Mr. Depp, was taken in, in or around March of 2013 after you had fallen off the wagon, right? Um, I'm sorry, what date? March of 2013, I believe, March right? March 2013. Does that ring a bell? Um, if March 23rd, um, I had... Uh, Fallen off the wagon from when we were when I was doing Lone Ranger when Mr. Mm -hmm. was, was with me when I was uh, sober. Okay, um, so but that was those the whiskey um, that's on the table was that was an average. Every day I would come home to her place and there would be a glass of whiskey waiting for me. And and you would sometimes drink whiskey in the mornings too, right? During this time period. Um, I. I, I you know, I mean, isn't happy hour any time? <laughs> and that cocaine, that those white lines, those are cocaine. That's cocaine, right? I would assume. It yeah, and like that's it. that's your cocaine that you kept in that box that says property of JD with the skull and crossbones, isn't it? Well, the beautiful composition of the photograph would suggest that, certainly. Yeah, you don't dispute that. I, I, I don't see me in it. No. But you don't dispute that the, you carried cocaine in that box that said property of JD. That was a special box that you carried cocaine in, wasn't it? The box was a gift from someone. I can't say that I carried cocaine in it, no. You, you, you can't it, say that you carried cocaine in that box? No, but it looks like it would fit some cocaine. I, I, I... <laughs> cocaine is, I would, in my experience, normally uh, given in plastic bags, when you put it in a box like that, um, chances are very good you'll leave a trail of a, a long line of cocaine behind you okay. walking down the street. So, Why don't you go ahead and pull up your UK testimony, please? Let's look at page 202. 202. It's page nine of the document. Once. Um. Oops, uh, I'm having trouble finding two old. Are you, are you saying page nine oh, because there's no two? That, no, uh, that's my fault. It's day two, so I owe you another transcript. I'm sorry. My apologies. Oh. We're moving into another day now. Your Honor, permission to approach? Okay. Yes, sir. <clears throat> Thank 
Thank you. So this, and I apologize for that, Mr. Depp. Um, this is uh, page nine of the document, uh, page 202 of the transcript. This was day two of your testimony in the UK. Uh, yes, I see it, page 202. Yep. And uh, on that, uh, on page 202, um, you were asked a question. We'll have to work out what that was at a later stage. Can you see in the front that there is a little box, about two inches by two inches, if we compare it to the size of the credit cards? Answer, yes. Property of JD with skull and crossbones on it. Yes, I do. That, I suggest, is this is a question. That, I suggest, is your cocaine box. That is where you would keep your cocaine, a special box that you had. Answer, I do remember the box. Question, do you remember it now? Answer, yes. I did not remember the property of JD. Yes, that is a box. It was carrying cocaine in it. I would say I probably was then. You see that? Did uh, I read that right? Yes, you did. And on the morning that this picture was taken, you were... This was during the filming of a documentary about Keith Richards. You remember that? Um, uh, what's, what, I'm, I'm sorry, uh, Th this, uh, Yeah, sure. This picture was taken while you were filming a documentary about Keith Richards, correct? Uh, I'm sorry, the date again on this? Do you remember that? I believe, it was, I believe it was March 2013. You, could, you that should seems, know better yes, than I that do. That seems about... Okay. And you time. see there's a Keith Richards CD looks like above that cosmetic case perfectly placed yes. yeah and you had an argument that morning in which you accused Amber of cheating on you do you remember that um, I believe Amber had an argument with me and morning. you were using cocaine and drinking whiskey that morning and as a result of that argument you were late to the set of that documentary correct um, in fact I was not late to the documentary uh, well I was late but um, I had called uh, my crew because it was a day of uh, filming performance with, between, it was Keith Richards, Tom Waits, and some other very uh, talented musicians. Uh, the only thing that needed to be done in terms of performance was capture the performance. So uh, my, I, I wasn't needed on the set, so I could come in any time I wanted. Okay, you, you just said that you were late though, correct? Oh, so I was just yes. about you. Okay. Yes, yes. All right. And, and due to the argument, of course. Sure. Yes. Um, I'd like to, to shift gears a little bit uh, now. Mm. Well, actually, let's, let's not. Um, Michelle, could you please pull up Exhibit 152? Mr. Depp, these are, are various um, texts that you sent and received to various people um, in 2012. Do you see that? Uh, yes. seems to go from July to September. Right, right. And um, we'll, we'll take them kind of piece by piece, I, I guess. Um, I guess the first thing I'd like to do um, is take a look at uh, exhibits, or I'm sorry, the entries 1628, so that's about halfway down the page. It's a text exchange, a text from you uh, to Stephen Duders, your personal assistant at the time, and then a text from him back to you. Objection, Your Honor.
that you agree with that's that? That's fine, okay. Your Honor. Thank 132 you. with redactions and evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. Appreciate your patience. Mm -hmm. Mr. Depp, um, we're going to take a look at two, two text messages here, the, or three text messages. Um, on August 4th, 2012, you exchanged text messages with Stephen Duders, one from you to him and one from him to you. Do you see that midway through the page? Yes. And, Shell, can you blow those up, please? <clears throat> In those text messages, you write to Mr. Duders, your personal assistant, yay, where is the little baggie you built in LA? And he says, special baggie, I gave you can in 1480 kitchen. Not sure where it went after that. Thought I heard you say something along the lines of, I know what to do with it, exclamation point. Did I read that right? You did, sir. All right. Can you scroll down to the, the text on the bottom, please? This is a text, um, Mr. Depp, uh, where you say, I use marijuana a lot, three exclamation points. I take pot. I read that right, correct? Yes, you did. And, and this is a text that you sent on September 11th, 2012. So just scroll over to the left, Michelle. This is a text that you sent to Brian Warner. Um, Brian Warner's Marilyn Manson, right? That's correct, sir. Okay. Um, let's pull up exhibit 145, please. Uh, Mr. Depp, this is a series of text messages um, from you to and from various people in 2012, right? Yes, sir. And, Your Honor, the, the uh, text messages that I'd like to uh, ask the witness about are the first two. Um, and then the... Um, Or just those first two. Okay. We have no objection to the omission with proper redactions. Okay, if you could redact just those first two. And then move for the admission of that right. document as redacted. Sure, as soon as we get redacted. Thanks, Michelle. That's fine. No okay. objection. All right, 145 and evidence as redacted. Thank you, Your Honor. So this text exchange, Mr. Depp, between you and Marilyn Manson on uh, September 11th, 2012, you text him, the pill and the plant stuff keep me calm and detached. And he texts you back, I have lots of reefers many reapers, and cookies, which are weird, but pot is funny, backwards gateway drug. Do you see that? I do, sir. Did I read that right? You did. <clears throat> you can take that down, Michelle, please. And if you could please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 108, sorry, 1089. 1089. 
Mr. Depp, I'd, I'd like to ask you about this photo. Um, this is a photo of four pretty huge bags of marijuana, correct? Yes, sir. That is a lot of marijuana. A lot of marijuana. Yes, sir. Um, and the coffee cup that's right next to that, that's, that's a coffee cup for your, your company, Infinitum Nile, right? That's correct. And the, the furniture, this is taken in one of your residences? Uh, it's taken in the studio, the recording studio. In the recording studio, okay. Um, Your Honor, uh, move for the admission of Exhibit 1089, Defendant's Exhibit 1089, and no. permission to publish. No objection, Your Honor. 1089 evidence. So this, this picture of these four giant bags of, of pot, at least four, um, uh, was taken in your recording studio. Is that right? Yes, sir. Okay. You can, you can take that down, Michelle. Are you at a good break point, Mr. Rottenborn? Just uh, sure. I, w the break would be fine. Okay. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. Let's go ahead and take our morning recess of 15 minutes. Uh, so we just don't talk to anybody, don't do any outside research, okay? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You can release.